Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. What I have seen when I was younger, I saw a woman who was so in love with her husband. I don't know what she saw in the man. The man was ugly as sin. Okay, I know I'm a Christian, but the boy was ugly. Okay, moving right along. Here she is with this beautiful honey brown complexion, beautiful, deep, wavy hair. I mean, it was just gorgeous. You wash it, and it's just bushy, curly. You press it, and then after a couple of weeks, it would form the most gorgeous waves. I mean, she had beautiful hair, and it was long. I mean, I got to buy mine, you know what I mean? I can get my hair to grow about like here, but I have to buy it if I wanted to. And she, her hair could just grow. And she was sweet to boot. She was, she had personality. She was, she was very hospitable, phenomenal cook. Treated her husband like royalty. There was nothing she wouldn't do for that man. Now he had a car. She did not. She stood up on her feet all day long working for a sewing factory. I don't know what he did and I didn't care. But let me tell you this. She would come home from being on her feet all day. Didn't matter if it was if it was a blizzard outside. She would come home in all that cold weather, walk, climb stairs to the to the uh, to the um, oh boy, I forgot what you call them now. The L train, but in the subway, she'd be climbing stairs and yeah. This woman would come home and fix brother man a five course meal every single day for dinner in the morning would get up early and fix him a five course breakfast this woman could cook she could as they say throw down but guess what guess what she got in return a black eye one week a kick in the butt the next a pounding, a, a plummeting of a fist all over where she was black and blue. It never stopped her from getting up and serving him. Because she didn't realize she was paying homage to a fool. A grumpy, mean, selfish, vicious fool who ultimately took her life. She spent 10 days after 40 years of being beaten severely, dying from complications of internal bleeding, complications from, from so much beatings and her body just breaking down, from so much repeated abuse. And he got the best of her. The best. She would say, I love him. She would show me pictures when they were teenagers and how they would go to sock hop and I mean sock hops and dances and she'd wear her hair in a ponytail, wear the bobby socks and had the little I mean, she was just so into this guy. And he was ugly then to me. But this man spent years beating her, spent decades beating. I watched him. He came home from work, sits down, calls her name demandingly. So-and-so, bring me my blah, blah, blah. Bring me my, I'm never, please, never. Baby, never, honey. Didn't even have enough, enough charisma to butter her up before the butt whooping. Just treated her like trash. Do you hear me? And she laid out these beautiful biscuits and she cooked this, uh, these collard greens were just delicious. I mean, everything. She laid out a, 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 a she laid out a feast. She, she, it was a spread every night for him. He came home, sat down. I was already there because she had already served me mine. He sits down. And I'm barely able to look at him because he's so hateful. And he said, you didn't put enough salt on the greens. 
I'm, I'm painting a real detailed picture because I want you to see the difference between junky love and God's love. You didn't put enough salt on the greens. And you could hear the trepidation in her voice. Honey, yes, I did, baby. I did. Come here and taste it. And she's inching over to the table hesitantly. She knows what's coming. I don't. And he holds the plate up, gives her the fork. She gets ready to take the fork and put the fork to her mouth. He could have put her eye out. And he takes the whole plate of this beautiful meal she prepared after working all day on her feet. And he rams it in her face. Hot food. And then the beating begins. He's kicking, he's punching, he's pushing. He's, he knocks her into the corner between the refrigerator, the wall. She has nowhere to turn. And he's just beating and beating and kicking and beating. I mean, like he's beating up a man. Defenseless woman that just got through. Sho I mean, just shoving out her love. Just killing herself to please this man. Can you imagine how many years God spent begging her to let him show her what real love is? Can you imagine? But she was so busy and so desperately trying to please this old grumpy malicious fool she would never be good enough she would never do good enough she would never she would never be able to rise to his level of whatever he thought she was supposed to be and the way she died was pitiful Everything that was wrong with her in those 10 years of dying in the hospital, the doctors shook their heads. How could a woman endure this all her life like this? He would kick her out and neighbors would see her begging him in her underwear. He's kicking her out, begging him to let her stay. What is wrong with you guys? What is wrong that you would rather be treated like crap, like junk, rather than go to God who has nothing but good in store for you? Life is what kicks us in the teeth, not God. His love is healing. His love, he gives us beauty for our ashes. He gives us joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. He gives us light for darkness. Fullness for emptiness. And we would rather bow to that. What happened to you? What happened to make you bow to such abuse? Male and female. Some of you men, you have a woman with a good pair of boobs and a pretty behind and some pretty hair and a pretty face and everything else. She is a wretch. She is a heifer. She is a shrew, a witch to live with, a witch. Horrible. Selfish, mean, vindictive, spiteful talks about you like you're like you like you don't even have a backbone in public just maligns you and 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 degrades you and makes fun of you and you stand there and you take it and you go to work every day and you serve and you pick this woman up and you buy her whatever she wants and she runs you in the debt and you work and work and work and work it's never good enough and you have swallowed your manhood to such a degree that you are now like a trapped animal 
and you're continuing to bow to that. But you don't want to hear anybody tell you about a loving God and what he has for you. Sit there, do me a favor, get up, find yourself a mirror in the house, sit in the chair, look at yourself and say this, what's wrong with me? Have I gone crazy? Do I really want to be loved or do I want to spend the rest of my life being a victim? Do I want to know what real freedom is that only God can give or, or, or have I just given up and decided, well, I'll just be a chained up fool, a chained up victim, a chained up prisoner, a chained up captive who gets abused at her owner's will. Who gets abused at his wench's desire? I mean, is this all I expect for myself in life? Ask yourself those questions. Because that's not God's plan for you. <sighs> 